what you see right here is what you get. 48-year-old Joel Tetro says he was an outdoorsman before February of this year, loved being with wife Lisa, their children and grandchildren. Now, Tetro is confined to this bed, a quadriplegic who can only move his head and shoulders after a bullet severed his spinal cord. It's been a real struggle for myself and my family and friends. It's, it's a big pill to swallow. He didn't ask for this injury. He didn't ask for any of this. None of us did. Lisa Tetro says teenagers who crashed their family party February 17th turned violent when Joel told them to leave. James Powell, now 16, allegedly pulled out a gun and shot Tetro. Another teen, Silvano Leslie, is charged as an accessory. They all say God doesn't give you more than you can handle. I mean, I'm pretty strong. I am, but Lord. This is weighing me down. Lisa is the full-time caregiver. She sleeps in a recliner in her husband's room at the home of a family friend. They had to give up their rental. Though Joel gets disability, Lisa says the family's buried in medical expenses. They're desperate for a specialized motorized chair to get him to and from the doctor, even just to get him out of the house once in a while. It's like my husband was taken from me and I may never get him back if I can't get him up and, and movable. The case against the accused teenagers is still winding through the system. And Joel says the alleged gunman, suspect Powell, should be harshly punished. He needs to pay for his consequences for what, he, what he's done to me. To all of them, says wife Lisa. My husband hasn't hugged me in almost nine months. He hasn't hugged his kids or his grandkids. In Oak Hill, Volusia County, Clara Metz, West 2 News.